Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone XR that has a problem with the compass. Now for those who doesn't know what uh, the compass is, the compass obviously is a, a device that shows the cardinal directions, I guess. I'm not going to go to details, uh, but it's very important for navigation and geographic orientation. And even if you don't use the compass uh, app itself on the iPhones, you can still it can still be used in Google Maps and other navigation apps. So this video will be a very fun one to make, and also be talking about the compass itself in iPhones. And I guess from the first iPhone that Apple introduced, uh, they include a lot of cool sensors. But from the iPhone 3G or 3GS, they included the three sensors, which are the gyroscope, accelerometer, and the compass. So before you start it on your phone, just check those three sensors. It's just like a little diagnostics because in older iPhones, each sensor had his own IC and still have it. But if one has a problem and particularly the accelerometer IC, the rest of the sensors will not work. So that's why we need to test everything. Now, it also could be a problem with the software. So you can also do a hardware set and or restore your iPhone. But I really doubt it that is a problem with the software. It's very rare. So, uh, yep, now after we tested everything, we are going to open the device and go a little deep in the compass where it's located in your iPhones and why it can be repaired easily. So, let's begin. So, we've opened the device and the first thing that I'm noticing is that the housing has been changed and the phone is a little messed up from the inside but still works okay. Now, from the iPhone X up, uh, from the iPhone X and up, or iPhone X and up, the compass I see is now on the wireless charger flex. I'll show you the flex under the microscope so you can see the IC later in the video. So the main focus will be today on the wireless charging flex and of course the connector that connects on the board which has two lines are, are the PP1V8 compass power and also the AOP signal goes to the CPU. Which to be honest uh, Apple did a very good job putting the IC on the charging flex cable. Very easy repair I guess. Bravo Apple. Uh, but uh, I guess that the people who changed the housing maybe damaged the flex, so we are going to remove the board now and see what is the situation and then put other flex and test. But if the problem still remains, we will need to measure the connector and from there it can go even more deeper, it can be a disconnection or our um, uh, AOP signal uh, is not present or the PV1V8 also not present because of this connection, so I'm just hoping that it will be an easy fix. So before we test everything, I'm just going to show you uh, this is a footage before I remove the board. So you can see this is the connector that uh, connects the wireless charging and of course the compass. Two lines of the compass which is the PP1B8 compass and the AOP signal for the CPU it goes to the CPU. Okay, let's just remove the battery <clears throat> so I can show you. Or just let me take another flex just to show you this is the uh, a working flex as you can see this is uh, the coil the wireless charging coil and here we are we have this little area that goes for the compass IC which is a very little one 
under the compound. As you can see, this is the Compass IC that is connected with the wireless charging flex. So here we go, let's go and start testing all the sensors. Now sometimes you need to make uh, or need to reset all the settings, but in my case I didn't because as I said, it, is, it wasn't a software issue. As you can see our compass is working and everything looks okay. Uh, this is a short video explaining the compass problem and the proper diagnostics to face the problem. So I hope it was a helpful video. So now let's go and check all the other sensors. Yep, everything looks fine. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Yep, everything looks okay. So I guess that's it for this short video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out. Thank you.